Hi, um, I recently bought a dynamo and I wonder if you could help me. I've not seen anything like this before. Um, this dynamo is standard Lucas with a Lucas regulator. I'll tell you about that a bit in a minute. But what is unusual about this, so I'll just get a torch. So when you look at this dynamo, it's got set points. And there's the dynamo. It's like a standard Lucas. I'll put the light onto it. And you look at the points. Very unusual. Have you ever seen points driven off the back of a dynamo? I haven't either. It's really odd. Right, so um, getting back to the basics here, we are. we've got a Lucas regulator that's connected. Now, unusual, the Lucas regulator is an RB108. You've got the ground, which is that there, and then you've got the I'll try and read it now. Dynamo output, dynamo, that goes into there. And then you've got the field, which also goes across there. And then on, on the A circuit, was A is the output, as they, or auxiliary as they used to call it, goes straight off and ends up on that side of the points, which is really unusual. So I've got a ground coming from there, I've got the output onto the points and I assume there was another connection on that bit there. Now, don't know how it actually works because it just doesn't quite make sense. Are we saying that the dynamo actually powered it? Can't be. But anyway, um, it's a Lucas. Uh, regulator is an RB108 and the dynamo is a Lucas C39PR um, unfortunately it's had so much corrosion on the body it was a bit hard to read whether it was 12 volt but anyway I'll turn the dynamo over and you'll see I'll try and balance the light as well and that you'll see a uh, Contact breaker. Right. Yep, and it'll shut. Like that. Now that does that. It does every 17 turns. Every 17 turns, the points open twice. Sorry, no, that's wrong. But it does 17 turns off here. Points open once, and another 17 turns from there. Points open again because there's two flats on it. I'm not sure if you're going to see it. There is actually two flats on that. So, can anybody help me out and uh, hmm, enlighten me? I've never seen anything like it in my life. Like I say, I mean, I don't know what voltage it is. Um, I can't read. The writing on it. Yeah, it's there. It is there. Just about to see it. It's not easy to read. It's so pitted. And it does say Lucas. I know it's not easy to see it. But I managed to look at it through a jeweler's loop. Read it off. And that's what I can come up with. My only thing is that if you had this on a car or an engine or whatever. If the belt slipped, wouldn't you lose your um, timing off the points? Now, unless that belt was really, really tight off of that. Um, I've never seen anything like it. Um, I believe the cap that's missing off here is just a standard cap. It doesn't have no rotor arm on it. Uh, I think it's a DK1A. DK1A or DK4A, I can't remember now, quite a common common size unit. So I'll just get a bit more, oh yeah, everything's in the way here. That's all, I'll get a bit more 
There we are. Yeah, it's a common D-shaped unit. Well, it's most unusual. Oh, sorry about the light, it's not very good in here. There you go. And then you've got the underside of that. On the back is a little grease nipple. And that's that really. But if anyone could help me, I would really be appreciated. Thank you.